the Robert E. Lee statue in Richmond, Virginia, where I grew up, Richmond, Virginia. There's photos of me as a little kid standing around the Robert E. Lee statue. I'm very familiar with it. Monument Avenue in Richmond, Virginia. It's all Confederate war heroes followed by Arthur Ashe. So <laughs> it's pretty, pretty weird. Anyway, they had taken down all of the statues except for the Robert E. Lee one, which was the biggest. It's massive. It's the largest Robert E. Lee. I think it's the largest Confederate statue in the nation. It's the largest Robert E. Lee statue, absolutely. But I think it's the largest Confederate statue in the nation. Massive statue of Robert E. Lee. And they finally took it down. They had taken down all the others well before this, but they had said in court that the Robert E. Lee statue was different because something like it, it was owned by the state or wasn't owned by the state. I didn't follow it all, but they argued that, he, that they couldn't legally move it. And so they have finally moved it to storage or something. It may end up in a museum one day or something. Uh, but they've, and they've left this pedestal, which had all this awesome Black Lives Matter, uh, spray paint graffiti on it uh it was on the cover of national geographic uh one month this year was the robert e. lee statue except they had projected with all the graffiti on it and they had projected uh an image of george floyd across the whole thing which was pretty looks pretty fucking incredible if you see the image and so they finally they finally moved it which is a it's a big moment long time coming uh it took a lot of work and this is this is pretty cool to see because it it, you know, I don't, I don't put that much weight in like cosmetic changes, but it's a little different when it is like the city, the, the center of a town square. Cause it, it is saying a Confederate statue in a town square where everyone has to drive around. I probably drove around that thing, you know, 9 billion times what I, across my childhood riding in the car and then driving myself and then uh, you know, going back and visiting my parents, uh, not uh, 9,037. Uh, my producer just told me in my ear, I drove around at 9,037 times, which begs you to believe that one, someone was keeping count and B, there's a producer in my ear. But yeah, so it, it stands, it represents, it, it tells everybody that visits Richmond, Virginia, that lives in Richmond, Virginia, we support and we are part of uh, this racist legacy. We very much support the idea that black people should be property. And that's what it says. And I know they'll tell you that's not what it says, but that's what it says. <laughs> that is absolutely what it says. And so, and many of these statues, that one, I think they said had been up for a hundred and, uh, 20 or 30 years or something. So it was put up in like 1890, maybe. And uh, which means that even that one, which was one of the earlier ones, was put up 25 years, 20 to 25 years after the Civil War. So it was not like in the midst of the battle, they were like, this general is great. No, it was at, it was well after, decades after the Civil War. They were like, let's remind everyone we're still racist. Okay, guys. We don't want anyone thinking we've forgotten that we're still racist because people are starting to forget. So hashtag never forget. Let's put it up. We want everyone to know still racist. OK, yes, we lost the war. Shit's not been so good. But on the racism front, still there. We're still there. We're still there. We can do it. We're good. So, I mean, that's why it was put up. It's It, it was not put up immediately after the war. It. It was during a time when black people were gaining rights. They were getting a foothold in the country. Uh, it, it, this doesn't mean that they were treated well a lot of the time, but it means they were gaining some rights. Uh, and then many of the Confederate statues were put up long after that, into the early 1900s, into the 1950s, they were put up because civil rights was coming about and many of these mostly white areas wanted everyone to know, we don't agree with civil rights. We don't agree with the idea that, that black people are really people of any color other than white are acceptable as equal human beings. And so many of these statues were not, they were not put up during the civil war. They were not put up immediately after. Many of them were put up years after as a way of saying, we're still into that. 
we're still into the fucking owning people thing. The Confederate battle flag, the Confederate flag, which we all know today, was not even the main one carried during the Civil War. It was mainly used after the Civil War and became popularized after the Civil War in like the 1950s, 60s, 70s. That's when it really gained popularity, again, as a symbol of, hey, we're still racist and we're still, we still think we should own people and we're still not part of this country that's telling us otherwise. We have a different flag. And yeah, that doesn't mean that everybody knew that growing up. I didn't really get that for several years, till the like end of high school years. So, you know, 18 years old, I started to really understand what it meant. Uh, the I was growing up in the South, Confederate stuff was everywhere. The Confederate bumper stickers were on cars. Uh, my high school was the Confederate Rebels, was the mascot. Our T-shirts had Confederate flags on them uh, as, as, as part of like the symbol of the mascot of the school. So if you just supported some sport, then you would have a Confederate flag on your shirt to go with the sport. Uh, and they had taken away the Confederate flag off the mascot emblem when I started school at that high school, Douglas Freeman, who was a, a, uh, basically a Confederate propagandist. Um, I hear he I hear he did some legit historical work writing, but most of it was as a Confederate propagandist. Um, and so they'd taken away the the rebel flag from the emblem when I started high school, although you'd still see people had the older t-shirts, so you'd still see them around. But they still had the Confederate rebel soldier as the mascot when I started high school. This is 1994. You still got and five and six and seven. You still have the Confederate rebel soldier as the mascot for a high school that had black students. Like this was a public high school funded by the state. Let's just keep these racist emblems on everything. Anyway, all that's to say, they finally did it. They finally took down the statue and, uh, Hooray for that. Now maybe we can put up statues of, I don't know, uh, fucking maybe some women. How about that? Put up statues of more black Americans, brown Americans, other kinds of Americans rather than just white generals on horseback. I mean, if statues are supposed to tell us what to respect and, and look up to and become in our society, then that would mean women are far less respected and looked up to in our society than horses. There are like way more statues of horses than women. Ponder that for a minute. Okay, folks, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up, but please share this, let everyone know. And like I said, these live streams are gonna live on Rockfin rather than YouTube, R-O-K-F-I-N.com slash Lee Camp. And if you become a member over there, Become a member through my page so I get credit for it. But if you become a member over there, you get everyone's free content. I mean, everyone's uh, uh, premium content. You get Max Blumenthal, uh, Graham Elwood, Ron Placone, Chris Mohan, all of them. Uh, there's a bunch of others. I don't know, Nico House. Uh, there's a bunch of others over there. I don't know them all. But, yeah, so check it out. And, uh, oh, I'm coming to Los Angeles, September 18th, live show with Graham Elwood, live government secrets. Hope you'll be there if you got a chance, if you're near there. Los Angeles, September 18th, 3 p.m. It's an early show. And it's the only time we could do it. And it's uh, it's uh, 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 leecamp.com. Hit, hit the schedule tab and you can get the tickets there. All right. Keep fighting.